It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com and in this lesson video, how to play It's the End of the World as We Know It by R.E.M. Let's hit the chords real quick. They're not too hard. The first one is a G. Let your first finger hang. Middle finger plays the fifth string second fret. Ring finger plays the sixth string third fret. And your pinky curls up and gets the first string third fret. And you're going to play all six strings. We're going to move from there to a C major seven. Pick your pinky up. Move these two fingers simultaneously over one string so that your middle finger is on the fourth string second fret and your ring finger is on the fifth string third fret. And that's all you do. You play five strings. Going on down the next chord is a B flat. We're going to get there from the C major 7. We're going to lay our first finger across and play the fifth string, sorry, <laughs> fifth string, first fret, kind of muffle the E string with the tip of a D cam. You're going to lay your ring finger across 4, 3, 2 on the third fret. Play the four middle strings, leave out the two E's, the high and low E. To go from there to the A minor, your first finger goes to the second string first fret. Your middle finger plays the fourth string second fret, and your ring finger crowds behind it, so you're on the third string second fret. Play five strings. The last chord is a D chord. You're gonna go. The last chord is a D. You're gonna go to that from the G. So we're gonna pick up our pinky, slide these two fingers all the way across, so your middle finger winds up on the first string second fret. Ring finger winds up on the second string third fret. And then your first finger plays the third string on the second fret. Play four strings. The strumming pattern is going to be pretty quick but simple. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Down and down and down and down and down. Fast but direct. And then we're going to put what I call the boom diggy, meaning we're going to play on the downbeat the first note of the chord. One. You go to the C major seven, play the fifth string. B flat is still a fifth string. And the A minor is a fifth string. For the D in the chorus, you're going to pluck the fourth string. To go through the whole chorus slow, it's G, 2, and 3, and 4, and B, 2, and 3, and 4, and A minor, 2, and 3, and 4, 1, and 2, and 3, G, G, 2, and 3, and 4, and You'll learn the song a lot faster by practicing it slowly and cleanly than you do fast and sloppy. Once you've got it slow, you can gradually speed things up. Now the hard part, the singing. If you look at the words, the word under the chord tends to be on the down. One, two, three, four, eye of a hurricane, listen to yourself churn, world serves its own needs, don't must serve your own needs, feed it up enough. This makes it a little bit easier. You focus on the one and the others kind of lie in between. That makes it easier to learn the rhythm of the words. Again, the way to learn them is start slow. Eye of a hurricane, listen to yourself churn. Well, oh yeah, definitely practice it without the guitar for a while. Feed it up a notch, speed, grunt, no strength, the ladder clatter with the fear of fight down height. Practice it slow like that and then speed it up. One, two, three. Lefter wasn't coming in a hurry with the furies breathing down your neck. Now another thing you might notice I'm doing is I'm over enunciating. Uh, just like holding a cord with your fingers will kind of help your neural system memorize that. Over enunciating the words lets your mouth place them more carefully and then when you say it faster with less diction, it'll still come out as understandable. Don't forget to check below the video for links to a chord chart, a play-along video, as well as other songs that you might like to learn. Below that, there's a big gray box for your questions. I'm sure I left something out of this song somewhere. Please, feel free to ask questions. I'm always happy to answer. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play It's the End of the World as We Know It by R.E.M. Thank you for watching.